This video brought to you by ribtea.com, where their focus is to help men look better and feel better so they can be at their best all day, every day. But MS-13 is particularly violent. They don't like shooting people because it's too quick. It's too fast. I was reading one of these animals was caught and explaining they like to knife them and cut them and let them die slowly because that way it's more painful and they enjoy watching that much. You know, these are animals. President Trump, perhaps inspired by Goebbels and the propagandists of the Third Reich. Al Sharpton and Beta Beto. This is going to be a tough one. From the looks of things right now, Robert Francis has absolutely no chance of being the Democrat nominee. And he apparently thinks that spewing lies and misinformation is going to be his ticket back to the top. What better person to do that with than Al Sharpton, a longtime Democrat who's made a career of sowing division by spewing lies and misinformation. Show some R-E-S-P-I-C-T. Since the Democrat primaries began, Beta has made a habit of lying about things that Trump has said and done, often completely mangling history to bolster his claims. I've done several videos documenting this, and I definitely recommend you check those out when you're done here. Just one example of what I'm talking about here. In one instance, Beta claims that Trump called immigrants an infestation, and he went on all the networks spreading this lie. Better you can the Trump administration to Nazi Germany. Can you elaborate on that? Why did you make that comparison? Well, I compared the rhetoric that the president has employed to rhetoric that you might have heard during the Third Reich. Uh, calling human beings an infestation is something that we might have expected to hear in Nazi Germany. It's not true. Trump called MS-13 gang members an infestation, and this isn't even hard to find. I'm really not sure how you could confuse what Trump said when it's right there in black and white on his Twitter post. Beta knows the media is not going to correct him and that they will be more than happy to perpetuate the lie. That's precisely what happened during this interview on MSNBC when Beta once again began warping history and misrepresenting quotes in order to demonize Trump as the reincarnation of Hitler. President Trump, perhaps inspired by Goebbels and the propagandists of the Third Reich. Did, did, did he just say Goebbels? Goebbels. Who the f is Goebbels? You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. He can't even say the guy's name right, but he's attempting to appear smart by going Godwin and not even getting the facts right. You know, there was a time when comparing your political opposition to Hitler was mocked and ridiculed. Literally every president since I've been alive has been compared to Hitler. Even Obama was compared to Hitler, and by LaRouche Democrats no less. Now we have this doofus thinking he's some sort of a master sleuth for cracking the code that this president is the real return of Hitler. Did I hear you correctly say that perhaps he was influenced by Gurgle and the Third Reich? <laughs> did, did he just say gurgles? Gurgle, 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 gurgle. Who the f is gurgles? In terms of... Uh, uh, telling a big lie. I just want to make sure that's what I heard you say. That's right. When Trump first got elected and the media began constantly misquoting him and misrepresenting his policies, I started comparing the tactic to the big lie, which was a propaganda tactic used by the Nazis. The idea is simple. Just repeat a lie over and over again until nobody knows what's true and just accepts it. Beta has employed this tactic often since he started running for president, as shown by this very interview where he once again lies about Trump's words and policies. He's literally engaged in the very thing he's lecturing about. There is so much that is resonant of the Third Reich in this administration, whether it is attempting to ban all people of one religion and saying that Muslims are somehow inherently dangerous or def defective or disqualified. Everything he just said there is a complete lie. Trump never attempted to ban all Muslims and the current travel restrictions do not ban all Muslims. The ban targets five countries, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria, and Yemen. These are all Muslim majority countries, yes, but they are not all of the Muslim majority countries. The ban targets countries with the highest risk of exporting terrorism, which is why North Korea and Venezuela are also on that list. Gee, how 
did none of this come up in the interview? Trump also never said anything about Muslims being inherently dangerous or defective. It never happened. Beta literally just pulled that out of his ass. The things that he says about immigrants committing crimes, being rapists, um, being predators and animals, seeking to dehumanize them. That's how we get them in cages. <laughs> oh God, I'm, I'm seriously about to have an embolism here. He just rattled off like five lies just now. Trump didn't say that immigrants commit crimes and he didn't say that they're rapists. He said that some illegal immigrants commit crimes and that some illegal immigrants are rapists, but that others are good people. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. And again, emphasis on the illegal, since illegally entering the country is in fact a crime. Then Beta once again makes the false accusation that Trump called immigrants animals. It never happened. Trump called MS-13 gang members animals during a meeting with a sheriff's organization where they were specifically talking about gangs and MS-13. We'll take care of it, Monica. Thank you. Why we'll, there we'll could win. be an MS-13 gang member I know about. If they don't reach a special, certain threshold, I cannot tell ice about them. Yeah. We have people coming into the country or trying to come in. We're stopping a lot of them. But we're taking people out of the country. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people. These are animals. And cages! You had to bring up cages! The very same cages that Obama housed over 90,000 kids in during his two terms. Yet somehow, Obama's still a scandal-free, Nobel Prize winning saint. That's about all I can stand of Mr. O'Rourke, so I'm gonna end this here. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can do so on Patreon, Subscribestar, or PayPal, and I deeply appreciate it. Also, make sure to head on over to DroneTechPolitics.com, where you're gonna find exclusive content from a talented group of writers, a discussion forum, videos, and much more. You can find all the links for this stuff in the description and the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.